how many annuals do you need for your flower bed this year? Uh, uh... You don't know! My Lowe's tracks and stores all of your Lowe's purchases, so you don't have to remember. I think I would use that. We scan, My Lowe's remembers. Your life gets easier. Sign up at Lowe's. What if nature's biggest killers decided instead to become a kind of modern family? It happened. See it with ABC's Steve Osinsami. They're three of the planet's top predators, the king of the jungle with teeth for miles, the most aggressive feline in the world, and 700 pounds of North American killing machine who could break an animal in two with a single swipe. And somehow they get along and play ball and show love. So why can't we? It's a lion, a tiger, and a bear. Oh my. <laughs> and they live together and they don't see their differences. At this wild animal rescue in the middle of Georgia where they chase each other around a small pen, they call them the BLT, Baloo, Leo, and Shere Khan, the Bengal tiger. Good morning, sweetie. They're three friends for life, rescued as cubs 12 years ago from drug dealers who abused and neglected them. Baloo the bear is the boss. He needed surgery, but when Allison Hedgecoff and her team tried to separate them, they refused. For years, they worried and waited for fights. Experts say if there were, the tiger would win. Yeah, it's a good boy. But it's been nothing but peace and Oreo cookies. I, you know, I think that there definitely is something special going on between the three of them. Now let's keep it real. As cute as they may seem, they're wild animals who would just as soon have us for dinner. But together, they live for each other's affection. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Locust Grove, Georgia.